Hey guys, I'm back with more Kaido Shujo. In the last episode, we were helping Emmy. Uh, I don't know, something with paint cans and I guess some other things to help uh, Rin. And now we're here, so. The working area is a mess, but the mural itself has taken over even more of the wall since I last saw it. This figured human figures have been mostly colored in tones of red, pink, and orange. Weird imaginary. Imaginary. Uh, things populating the spaces between. It looks nice. I can't think of any word that would describe the work concisely and comprehensively, so I settle myself on a, a nondescript nice. But honestly, it seems that the area around the wall becomes untidier at the same rate as the mural progresses. The ground is littered with dozens of paint cans, various art supplies, and empty soda bottles. Min herself is in the center of the chaos, standing here, standing there, looking very cozy as if she was a natural part of the scene. Her paint legs. <laughs> that was me hitting my head. <laughs> Her pant legs, not paint legs. Her pant legs have been rolled up to her knees, exposing her thin legs, which, su which support a drying spectrum of warp paintings similar to those on Emmy's face. Emmy sprints to Rin ahead of me and gleefully jumps in front of her. I'm back. That was fast. Did you run in the corridors again? You saw it helped me. Emmy points victoriously at me. Rin turns around following Emmy's finger with her eyes looking at my general direction. She nods absentmindedly at me. She looks like she hasn't slept since last night. A vacant glazed stare that focuses slightly off me and movements like in a slow motion movie. Hello, Hisao. Thank you for the help. Don't mention it. I just did. <laughs> Never mind. Looks like you've made progress. Looking good as far as I can tell. But now you can, but now you get more bad luck. What? I know, but I'm willing to take the risk. That's a very nice thing to say for me, of course, not for you. This is why artists are always unlucky; they have to constantly look at their unfinished paintings. So artists can't find romance. Their favorite TV shows are canceled, or they die young because of an unspecified disease. It's a deep and mysterious law of the universe unless they are blind. She considers this for a while, looking like she's going to fall asleep. There is a boy at the art club, you see, a blind boy, so he doesn't see. You should become an artist, no bad luck guaranteed. Don't you think that would be a good idea? That only blind people should become artists? No, not as such. You might have a point. Abandoning this train of thought, she learns. <laughs> she turns again to consider her work and starts humming a tune that I think I recognize but can't remember the name of. Emmy arranges the supplies we brought and moves a few paint cans around, trying to bring some organization to the scene. Amy, I need the uh, Prussian blue paint. Which one's Prussian blue? She is staring helplessly at seven or eight cans, each with a different tone of blue. <laughs> it's the one with Prussian blue paint on it. Jeez, Rin, you're not helping at all. I look around as well, even though I don't know what Prussian blue looks like either. I wonder what blue has to do with Prussia. Or what Prussia even is. The name sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't place it. While none of the blues look more Prussian, than the others, the small print on the labels is legible enough to determine that none say anything of the constants being Prussian. There is no Prussian blue here. We need to get more then. Go get more then. I open my mouth to say that actually we are not both needed for such a simple task like finding another pot of Prussian blue, but Emmy's already grabbed my arm and started dragging me off. I, I waved to Rin, who doesn't seem to have noticed that the two of us are even leaving. Well, she'll notice when she gives, gives, goes for Prussian blue. 
and finds out it's still not there. Maybe. Probably not, actually. While I'm busy thinking of how weird Rin is, Emmy's been dragging me back to the art classroom. I feel myself starting to run out of breath. What's the rush? Huh? Emmy's giving me an appraising look as if she's trying to figure something out. It's just that you seem to be in a hurry. I'm not sure I can keep up. Comprehension dawns on her face. You're not out of breath, are you? There's almost an accusing playfulness to her tone. I'm tempted to deny it, but then I realize that I've been breathing heavy since we stopped. Guess it's kind of obvious. A little. Not everybody can be in shape, you know? It takes all kinds, right? Emmy frowns. It's not a particularly good frown. Er, that is. I should get in shape. Not that I kind of. Not that I hadn't already decided to try for that. After that flutter on the track, I figured there's a real need to get in some sort of running habit. I was, after all, feeling pretty good until I had my false alarm. Well, actually, I wasn't, but it was fun. Meanwhile, my comment seems to have helped Emmy come to some sort of a decision. Well, that's it then. She gives me a serious look. You're joining me. I beg your pardon? In the mornings. You and I are now running partners. I've got a routine all planned out, in fact. She produces a crumpled sheet of paper. I've got it right in front of, right here with me. I take the sheet of paper and give it a once over. Time, dates, and laps all laid out. A slow increase from just a few laps to a day two. My god, does, it, does she expect to have been running marathons? And where did she find the time to give this all together? And how long has she been planning this anyway? You've been planning this? A little. But it's really the nurse's idea. You told me to keep an eye on you to make sure you exercise like you told you to. A vast conspiracy? Maybe Kenji's onto something here. <laughs> this seems a bit much for just keeping an eye on me. Well, to be honest, I've been trying to find a running partner in the mornings for a while now. My god, Kenji, you could've... <laughs> if you could only see the scheme unfolding. What do you need a partner for anyway? It's easier to keep a workout if you're not the only one doing it. Isn't that obvious? You're less likely to quit if someone else is counting on you to be there, right? I see, and this won't only keep you running, but it'll make sure that I keep running as well. Meaning that I'll be obeying this nurse. The nurse. And I'll be keeping an eye on you just like he asked. You caught on quick, he's how? And if I refuse, I have no intention of refusing, of course. But I've got to at least put up a token resistance to such a masterfully executed plan. Well, if you refuse, I'd have to pout. And you'd have to live with being the guy who made Emmy Ibarazaki pout. You don't want that on your conscience, do you? As if to demonstrate Emmy begins pouting. It is the most adorable, heart-wrenching thing I've ever seen. Okay, I'll do it. Just don't do that. I feel like I just hit a puppy. So it's settled, right? You're going to be my running partner. Follow the workout. And the dietary plan? Dietary plan? Yeah, the dietary plan. You've got to eat healthy if you're going to get in shape, you know? I examine the workout routine closely. I don't see a dietary plan on here. Oh right, I forgot to give that to you. Another crumpled sheet of paper is produced and handed over. It's somewhat less detailed. I had the nurse help me come up with that. Come up with it. The amount of dedication that the nurse has to keep me in good health is pretty overwhelming. I don't know many school nurses who would get one of their students to spy on me, much less help come up with a dietary plan. Then again, I guess I'm not in a normal school. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. And again, this dietary plan seems to cut out just about everything that'll be offered at the festival tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. So when does our running start? After this, fe after the festival. Right after? What if I've had something to eat there? I could get a stomach ache, you know. I meant the day after the festival. I knew that. 
Wasn't there something we were supposed to be doing? Oh, I guess we should get that get that paint for Rin, huh? Oh no, it slipped my mind. By the time we get the paint and get back to the mural, Rin's already wandered off. Oh well. Amy and I both decide to part ways there, leaving the paint on the ground. Rin will find it whenever she comes back anyway. Festival's tomorrow. I'm actually a little excited for it. At the same time, the weeks left me feeling pretty tired, so I read a little and then go to bed. Hmm. So far it looks like we're dealing a lot with Emmy here. <laughs> Interacting, I should say. The next day I wake up feeling a little lightheaded. It's almost soon already. Sleeping late is fine, since it's a Sunday and there are no classes. Not just the Sunday, though, but the festival as well. From my window I can already see some people at the so at the soba booth singing noodles onto a place for people from a craving with a craving for low quality food. I throw back a handful of my morning meds and ponder how to spend the day. There will be a few exams in the coming week, but I don't consider those as ominous as others, so I'm not as worried about them as I probably should be. With no urgent obligations regarding education, I should be free to spend the day at the festival as I like. Finishing my morning routine, I exit into the hallway, ex intending to go out and find something to eat, passing by his door outside to say what well, Kenji's up to today of impulse. I'm curious if he has any plans since everyone is doing something. Then again, I can picture him having a built having him built a soundproof shelter in his room. <laughs> Possibly something like a fort complete with no girls allowed sign. <laughs> and with the girls crossed out and body crudely scrawled underneath it. Knocking on his door, which is luckily devoid of any kind of sign, I hear again the unsettling clicking of at least ten locks behind uh, being pulled back. The door opens up a crack. Who is it? You're supposed to ask that before you open the door. Oh, it's you. Damn, it's early. It's not really that early. What is it, man? Nothing. We're just gonna ask you what you're gonna do today. Half the school is out there already. Out where? Why? What? 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 It's is today special? Why are they there? Who are? <laughs> I can hear them. It's loud. Don't tell me. Has the invasion begun? He suddenly looks more alarmed. What day is it, man? Yeah, I guess you can't see the big wooden booths outside and people selling stuff. What the hell are you talking about? I have my curtains closed at all times to thwart the snipers. <laughs> Oh, it's the festival, you know that, right? Oh shit, that's today? Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. I don't have my fort finished yet. This is bad. This is going to be a very bad day. It's good you told me this, man. This is going to be a bad day. Why? Oh man, they're going to be everywhere. The people, outside my window, socializing. Kinji rubs his temples nervously, suddenly looking very ill. It's going to be loud. It's going to be loud as hell. Damn. And I was going to <laughs> go out today, but now it's ruined. Everything's ruined. This is awful. This sucks. This sucks. What the hell? This really sucks. I can't go anywhere now. There is nowhere to run. Kenji seems nervous. <laughs> you could even say he's majority. <laughs> majority? Majorly freaked out. Freaking out. God. I can't believe this. So this. So that's what today is. Damn it. I couldn't even prepare for it. I couldn't even brace myself, and now it's here, and I can't do anything. You should have told me this earlier, dude. I mean, at least I know, but I could have known earlier. I mean, <laughs> imagine what I could have accomplished. Sorry, I thought you knew. So I guess you're not going to do anything today. The weather, the weather is even good. Yesterday was really windy, so I thought today would be cold. It's not, though. So there's no reason to just stay inside. Yeah, you should check the festival out. Kenji groans and covers his face with his hands. God, no, no, I can't do it. They'll eat me alive out there. I know it. That has to be a joke. But he said it with such a straight face, relatively straight. What are you going to do? We should hang out in here. You can help me build my fort. We might still make it if we work together. <laughs> I wonder. I'm kind of hungry. But I made this deal that I, tr uh, that I try to take better care of myself, be healthier, you know? Don't know if I should steer clear of the ta takoyaki or head straight in deal? Sounds ominous. 
So what are you getting in return? Nothing, I guess. It's not that kind of a deal. You know Emmy from our year? We kinda agreed to watch each other's backs and... I... The shrill scream and the expression of <laughs> abject terror in Kenji's face chill my blood. It's as if I told a Catholic priest I sold my soul to the devil. <laughs> Her, you sold your soul to the devil and you didn't and didn't get anything in return? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, man? Do you know who are you dealing with? She's a public health danger. Do you know how many people she sends to the hosp hospital monthly with her careful placed flying tackles? What? She's one of them, a key player in the vast conspiracy that aims for the complete submission of everything that is mainly. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I trusted in your judgment, man. I thought we were brothers. You have to call it off before it's too late. This festival, too. It's just one of their ploys. He fingers his scarf nervously faster and faster like he's trying to start a fire, then slowly begins to calm down once the panic attack finishes running its course. I'm going to have to find some place to hide in, a safe haven, and then knock the lights out of myself so that I don't have to experience this horrible day. <laughs> I have the perfect thing for that. I must prepare now. Don't go to the festival. Okay. Later, dude. The door slowly closes with a, a low creak, and I don't know how to feel about what Kenji just said. It's kind of unsettling, and now I start to feel doubtful myself. Should I bother going? I've got a book I've been meaning to read. Something about an underground postal system that may or may not exist. It's short, too. I could have I could have it finished in a day. But, the, but what <laughs> would that be a good way to spend any of my, t my time? Well, yeah, it definitely would be, but I suppose that it would probably be a little, uh, be better idea to head outside, see the festival, try to, in to integrate with all the other sideshow acts. Honestly, I should at least make an attempt to keep up the somewhat friendly personality I've had the past week. Maybe get something to eat. My stomach suggests it's almost lunchtime. I could at least grab something from one of the stalls outside. Oh, whoops. All right. Oh, yeah, for this episode. I'll see you guys next time for more Kadoa Shujo.